good morning everyone so it's like 9 15 right now and i'm on the blue blaze back to the at i didn't even wake up until like 7 45 this morning i was just so tired i looked at my watch and i slept over 10 hours probably just still recovering from hiking the marathon the other day it's pretty cold this morning um everything froze last night it's probably uh, just right below freezing. I don't think it's in the 20s. It could be. But with it being so cold this morning, it took me a little bit longer to pack up. So a little bit of a late start today, but that's okay. Today I'm doing like 16 miles and going to Weary Feet Hostel. Um, probably just in a tent camp. It's going to be cold again tonight too, but I was just in a hostel like the past couple nights. Well, not last night, but the nights before. But I really wanted to stop in because it was one of my favorite hostels on the AT last year. The owners are super nice and she cooks a really good breakfast and dinner. So definitely gonna be enjoying that. I'm also gonna hit the 600 mile mark. So that's exciting. It should be a good day. Last night when I got to camp, my uh, heel was hurting pretty bad again. Took some ibuprofen and it started feeling a little bit better. I took some this morning as well. Um, I'm still a little bit worried about it. I don't know what's going on. We are going to take a zero in Parisburg in a couple days, and there is like a pod podiatrist, I have a hard time saying that, like right beside the food line in town. Um, I think I might go get it looked at just to make sure that I'm not gonna do any like horrible damage to it. And maybe just to see if like different inserts would help. I am getting new shoes in Parisburg as well, so hopefully that makes a difference. If it somehow feels better by then, then maybe I won't, but that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. I'm like four miles in for the day, and so far the trail has just been really nice and gradual ridge walk. There really hasn't been like a ton to see yet today, but the trail has been beautiful, so that's been good. And I'm starting to get pretty close to the 600 mile mark. I'm only 0.3 away from the 600 mile mark. Woo, I'm so excited to get there. I'm getting so close to where I got off trail last year. While I know I have what it takes to be right this trail, I'm still really proud of myself for making it this far. Just hit the 600 mile mark, woo! Now I only have like 1600 miles left to go. I got this though. I see some trail magic over here. Super awesome. Mostly trash. So I'm coming up on the next road crossing and then I'm going to do my biggest climb of the day, which um, isn't really that big actually. I just looked at it and it's like 750 feet over like maybe a mile and a half, maybe a little bit more. Today has honestly been a really average day, but you know, sometimes that's a good thing. My feet haven't been hurting too bad, which is really nice. I think when I take ibuprofen, it helps a lot. There's not really been like a ton of views or a ton of like remarkable landmarks or anything. It's just been ridge walking and pretty gradual terrain, but it has been really green, so it's been beautiful. All right, y'all, I'm only like half a mile from Weary Feet Hostel. Um, I don't think I did a ton of filming today, but honestly, the trail was uh, pretty much the same almost the entire day. And there wasn't really much going on. I spent most of the day listening to an audiobook, and the like almost 16 miles 
flew by super quick. I think I left camp at like 9.15 this morning and it's like 3.30 now and I'm basically done. So pretty quick day, pretty easy. My feet actually feel pretty good. So much better than yesterday. They were not feeling good last night. I'm really looking forward to getting to the hostel and having some dinner. Um, she cooks a homemade breakfast and dinner. I think I mentioned that earlier, but it's gonna be amazing. This bridge is swinging. So I missed the shortcut to the hostel and I had to walk the road. It wasn't horrible, but never my favorite thing. I didn't film any of it though because I was talking to Josh on the phone. Yeah, I, I didn't take a picture of my dinner.